this lesson, you will learn how to draw a frequency distribution table. And secondly, you will learn how to draw a frequency histogram. And then, you will learn how to draw a frequency polygon. So if you can, please download or print out the PDF file on the description below so you can work with me. Let's roll a die and record the results on the frequency distribution table. So the scores are 1 to 6. So just write this down. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6. So let's start rolling the die. So it's 3. And we tally 1. So we tally 1. 5. So we tally 5. 6. So we tally 6. 1. So just tally 1. 4. So just tally 4. 6. So we tally under 6. 3. So just tally 3. 3 again. So just tally 3. 4. So just tally under 4. 2. 2 again. So just tally on 2. 4. One. One again. Three. So we tally on the three. One. See, we have five one. So we have to draw a line like this. So we recognize this is five. So we don't have to count them. Four. So tally on four. Three. So it's five for three. Two. So we put two here. Four. So we have five, four now. You draw a line across so that you don't have to count. So you know that it's five. And it's just easier for you to write down the frequency later on. So 6, we tally 6, 4, we have 4 there, 6. Anyway, I can stop here now. Frequency column is just to record how many 1 come out, and how many 2 come out, and how many 3, how many 4, and so on. So 1, we have 5, so we write down 5. 2 is 3, we write down 3, 3 is 5 of them, so we write down 5, 4 is 6, so we just write down 6, 5 is 1, so we just write down 1, 6 is 4, so we just write this down 4. Now we can construct a frequency histogram. To construct a frequency histogram, we need scores and then we need the frequency column. So the horizontal lines is the score, so I just write the smallest is 1 and then to 6. So we just construct like this, we skip the line, so it makes it easier. So 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6. So we'll write this is score, scores or x. The maximum free number frequency is 6. We have more space. So I made the scale a bit bigger. So let's say this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7, and so on, right? So this is frequency. 1, it come out 5 times. So I just draw a line here so I know where I start and stop. I just start from here. 5. 2. 
is 3 and 3 is 5 times and then 4 is 6 5 is come out only 1 so just do this here 6 come out 4 times so I just connect this all the way up to 4 there you go so this is called frequency histogram you can um, shade the column if you like so it just look a bit nicer that's all there you go so final one we construct a frequency polygon to draw a frequency polygon so we just make a point right on top of the column graph just like this on top my shoe is right in the middle okay and here my shoe and this is zero and what we do we just need ruler and join them together that's all it is There you go. So the green one is frequency histogram and the purple line is called frequency polygon. Please stop the video and try this one yourself. Part A. To construct a frequency distribution table, so we know the smallest score is 2 and the highest score is 7. So we start with 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and 7. So now we just need to tally. 3, 3, 4, 3, three four two six three two six three two seven two two seven two two seven four two seven four five four five five four five five four three five four three five seven three five seven three two six two two six and two Six two six six two six four four two. So we go four four and two. Now we just need to transfer the tally onto frequency. Two come out eight times. So we just write eight. Three come out five times. So just write five. Four is six. Five is four. And 6 is 4, 7 is 3. So we're done with frequency distribution table. Now we need to draw a frequency histogram. Vertical axis is frequency. So I just write in here. And then the x axis is score. So I just write score here, scores, or x if you like. 
and we know the smallest score is 2 so we just write 2 3 4 5 6 7 and then the frequency the highest frequency is 8 so we have a lot of space here so I can just do 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 just made it so 2 is 8 so we always start between 2 and 0 okay remember that for me please so start here and all the way to 8 3 is 5 4 is 6 5 is 4 and 6 is 4 so I can just do like this 7 is 3 there you go this is frequency histogram now we need to draw a frequency polygon so to do this so we just make a point first on top of each column so make sure it's right in the middle so this is the dot that you need to connect together so remember that for me and just right here and of course start from zero so just join them together and just join it together There you go, we have a frequency histogram and a polygon together. Thank you so much for watching my video.